what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys I had a special recommended recommendation right here we have why Swedish sounds like music uh very interesting um uh, i've have heard swedish speakers or people from sweden speak never thought it sounded like music but it's going to be interesting to see on you know why but y'all hit that subscribe button send down those recommendations and let's check it out Hey allihopa! Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Say It In Swedish. I'm your host Joakim and today we're gonna talk about Swedish prosody. And if you don't know what prosody means, it is basically the music part of a language. It's mm. the melody and it can tell us so so much uh, about what's being said and the mood of the speaker and what is emphasized in a, a sentence and so on. But there are a few key things to... Stop! Be quiet! Before we start, <laughs> I wanted to remind you of SayItInSwedish.com as <laughs> always, where I've got more free content for you for uh, learning Swedish. There is a free beginner course over there. And if you want to support me and unlock some extra stuff on the site, you can do that mm. on Patreon. All the links are in the description down below. When talking about prosody in Swedish, we have three major things to talk about. So we have word stress, sentence stress, but we also have word accent, which is something that I've talked about in another video. You can check that out here. Um, that's a bit of an old video, accent. and this video is gonna basically replace it a little bit. And yeah, I will, it's a brief video, but it talks about a lot more than just the accent, right? So when talking about word stress, major thing here in Swedish is that all stressed syllables are long. So either I I heard that in the last you have video. a long vowel and follow, uh, followed by a short consonant, for instance, mm. but we can also have a short vowel follow, followed by a long consonant. And this is something that we have in, in Swedish, Swedish in Sweden, and it's called the quantity rule. The quantity quantity again. So it means that we have a long uh, a long syllable but either the consonant is mm. short and the vowel is long or the vowel is short and the consonant is long and I have uh, I have an example here to um, so that you can hear uh, what this is about so we have for instance meta, meta. which means to measure meta. 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 But I feel like I need to write this down meta. Okay, I Mesta, which means to feed, to, to. I feel like I seen this word on Duolingo when I was to doing it. Make someone not being hungry, to feed basically. Meta. 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 So as you can hear, meta has a long vowel, and meta has a long consonant. Hmm. Right. Meta. I don't know if it's if it's just me, but I feel like when I was younger. Like learning these things, I think for me were difficult. But once I got older, it started to make more sense. Like maybe it was my young brain at the time. Meta. Can you hear the difference? The the Meta. difference. They are not the same word. Meta. Da. And. Da. Da. Meta. 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 <laughs> Forest is scary. Can on everything, hear I hear some back meta, there. Long vowel, meta, short consonant, meta, and meta. Me, meta. Uh, short vowel and long meta, consonant. Meta. It's meta. crazy how two words, I mean, that's kind of almost like the English language. Like, it's two words that sound alike but spelled differently and mean different things. Like, I mean, I'm sure y'all know the where's, like, where, where, like, where you going? Hey, I was there. And where do you put these? Like it, it's a lot, but I don't know that when I was learning S Swedish, it didn't seem too difficult. Like probably because I was on the road, you know, I was learning, you know. But I heard that English is harder to learn, which makes sense. Like I said, when you got the words and the other words that are out there that just mean the same thing, and it just. Very confusing, very confusing. 
and meta. meta Let's take meta. a few examples so that you can At least really it sound hear different. the difference. So we have the city Riga. 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 Long consonant, a eh, long Riga. vowel, I'm sorry, and a short consonant. Riga. But then we have the verb rigga, which means to rig. It's a loan from English, so to rig, rigga. Okay, bro, about to like long riga. consonant. Riga. 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 All right. Riga. Then we have seta, the letter Z or Z. Seta. Seta. But we also have seta, which means seta. to sit down or to put or set something set so when they have two of the same Zeta. letters it's a shorter Zeta. sound so as you can see or uh, hear here these stressed syllables are always long it doesn't matter if the vowel is long uh, if not the consonant is gonna be long hmm. and now since we are talking about individual words let's talk about the word accents and this is something that is super fun to talk about because this is what makes Swedish stand out among languages and also Norwegian. It's what makes mm. Swedish so lovable and so fun. And it gives Swedish this sing-song accent that a lot of people yeah, that's what I'm really and here. are curious about, curious about. And the fun thing here is that we have this with Norwegian, but not with Danish, although Swedish and Danish are more related than Norwegian and Swedish. Oh. So that's a weird thing. But <laughs> Very at the border, Swedish and Norwegian are sometimes hard to differentiate from another. So that's a, f a total, <laughs> it's a totally another video, but <laughs> uh, it's uh, something fun to think about. So in Swedish, we have two word accents. We have accent number one, which is also called the acute accent. And then we have accent number Thank two, which remember. is also called the grave accent. And the first accent is your average type of accent. I mean, uh, other languages uh, have this accent as well. It's just a racing tone. And uh, sounds like this. Anden. 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 Kind of like this. Anden. Weep. Anden. 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 This means the duck. Anden. Right? Anden. And then we have accent number two, the grave accent, which is the fun accent it's a melodic musical accent that we have okay, in swedish and the remarkable thing here is basically that yeah it, it, we have two syllables that ha that are stressed with this accent so any word with this accent has to have a minimum of two syllables so here we have the word on them on them oh. not on them Anden. Like, anden. Anden. And then, uh, it's a kind of a falling tone. To me, it's uh, like it. There are two peaks, basically. We'll Ain't that? I mean, is it trying to get at the word? I remember when I was in music class, way back when I was littler. We used to do the do re mi fa so. Is it? Is it? Is this what he kind of explaining? A, like, a major. Peak how you had to hold those notes. A smaller, when you say a word. not as high peak, so it's basically a falling tone. But it goes like this. Another classic example of and two then. homographs, and two words uh, that look the same but have different accents, in this case, are tomten and tomten. So tomten, tomten. is the definite form tomten. of tomt. The, here where I am, the private property here is the yard. It's where your house is. It's the tomt. And the definite tomt. form is tomten. But then we have hmm. the definite form of tomte, which is tomten. And tomten means tomten. the gnome or Santa Claus, Father Christmas. Tomten. What? So we have tomten. I ain't gonna lie, some of these words, the meaning of it, they are, they are out there. Like, there are totally different meanings, and uh, you really just, what do you say, holding, or, you know, it got a long consonant sound or something? Tomten. That's this. Tomten. Very, very different. And, with grave accent, tomten. Tomten. 
Tomten. Tomten. It's the, the Tomten. rising tone. Tomten. Tomten. And then we have the falling Tomten. tone. Tomten. Tomten. Goes Tomten. down. Tomten. Right? Tomten. As I said before, check out my video. It's almost like you just saying it fast, one word faster, and one word a little slower. Time. This in the card here for a bunch of more examples. I'm gonna have to check out his website. Between accent to. one or the acute accent and accent two or the grave melodic musical accent and before we move on to the sentence stress i just wanted to give you an example of a word that utilizes accent two or the grave accent without being just two syllables but more than that so we have the word motorsåg Motorsog. which means chainsaw what Motorsog. I, ain't gonna, I thought I was going to have to do something with like motorcycle, motor or something. It's a chainsaw motorsaw. massacre for you film buffs out there. <laughs> <laughs> chainsaw <laughs> is motorsaw. motorsaw. And here we have two more than two syllables. We have motorsaw. 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 And I, I say shog because I have... The R and the S there, so it's a ret retroflex, mm. uh, retroflex sound. And I talked about this in my, in these two videos that you'll find in the card as well. So oh. the thing here is we have two things. Mu, then unstress. Mu to sorg. 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 So the mm. second syllable here is totally unstressed. You you could almost leave it out and you will still be able to recognize the word so motsog motsog motorsog motorsog right motorsog mo down here <laughs> it's unstressed motorsog motsog mm. so a swede That's would definitely recognize this word without this syllable almost at all all right but this uh, brings me to my second point here. This is a compound. Motor, motor. motor. Also a word motor. with uh, with uh, grave accent. Motor. It's hard for me motor. to add that accent up in there. Motor. <laughs> and then motor. sog, which sog. means saw. Motor. Motor is motor, motor, sog. motor saw, motor basically. Sog. It's a compound. And with this uh, rule of thumb, you will be able to spot a word with accent too because compound words they get this so you'll find mm. this musical accent in compound words great right you will find it in a lot of uh, group one verbs if you check out my lessons on sailingswedish.com i talk about mm. verbs in groups and group one verbs are all the verbs that you would create on your own with, by just adding an A, for instance, these, in their infinite form, they will get this accent. Mm. And obviously, also, the first syllable has to be stressed, or Ooh, else we won't sick. have this grave accent. And before That's we end this video, obviously, we need to talk about sentence stress. And sentence stress in Swedish sentence is stress. very, very interesting, because in Swedish, all important words are stressed all important words are stressed and all other words they lose their accent and this is because these you know what i just thought about like i know he was talking about uh why swedish sounds like music i need a, I need a. I don't think i ever heard a song saying uh somebody sing a song in swedish i think i need to hear that i, I i've seen swedish artists i think they were mostly singing in english accent accents they are pretty much defined uh, on stress, you know. So th the stresses get these tones, but if the syllables in these words are unstressed, we won't have these accents mm. or these tones. So, like I said, all important words are stressed and all other words, they lose their accent. And uh, here's an example. For instance, Motor. we can say Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt. So, Whoa. Trevligt att träffas. Let me do that again. Their accent. And uh, here's an example. For instance, we can say Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt. 
Trevligt att träffas. Träffas. So, Truly trevligt att träffas. Träffas is... I ain't gonna lie. That first, the beginning of it saying like I was mumbling. Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt att träffas. Träffas. Trevligt att träffas. So, um, if I say trevligt. 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 It's an, a word with a grave Trevligt. accent. With this Dang. melodic accent. Trevligt. Trevligt. But Trevligt. in this sen- sentence... Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt. It's a monotone, right? Trevligt att träffas. And träffas gets this accent. But if I emphasize trevligt instead, it sounds like this. Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt att träffas. Trevligt att träffas. 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 It's monotone. Träffas. Trevligt att träffas. But wouldn't it depend on how the person say it though? Uh like you know, I think most times it's how people uh, certain people receive how you say it or whatever. But I mean I I haven't really heard a conversation in Swedish. At least I don't th- I don't think I have, but that'll be interesting because I mean I feel like most words in English are stressed. It just depends on what you're saying, how you're saying it, what's the, the you know the topic of discussion, and all those different things too. Can you hear the difference? But that there? would be in, this would be interesting. That you can. I think this. I need to is check out this guy's very very, very interesting. Now your takeaway from this video should be that word accents they aren't really that important. I mean they don't have them in uh, Finland Swedish, for instance. Uh, so we can in- understand them as well and some dialects don't have these uh, accents as well stress is super important for Swedes to understand you so uh, mm-hmm. if you want just to work on your Swedish so that people will have the patience with you to understand you and listen to you work on stress mm-hmm. and syllable length mm-hmm. word accent have to do that. is just nothing you need. I need to start doing I need to get back on my Duolingo I need to start practicing these things to pri- pri- tori- pri- <laughs> prioritize right it's something you can do later if you want to sound like if you want to sound Swedish and tweak your pronunciation word accent is a fun thing but not necessary all right that was quite a ride a Trim very left. short Trim introduction left. to Swedish prosody i hope that you enjoyed this Mot video if you have more so. questions Mot please so. let me know in the comments Mot down so. below and i might make a, a follow-up video with all your uh, questions and i'll try mm, to mm. answer them if you want to learn more swedish you can do that on sailingswedish.com i've Make got sure free that. lessons yeah. for you there and if you want to support what i do on this channel and support this whole huge massive project become a patreon member and you will be able to unlock some extra stuff on the side as well there are some assignments assignments there that i will um that i will be able to uh, help you with uh, if you're a patron and so on so check out patron and everything I'm all the cheers that. that i have there and we will see each other in the next video see you on the discord server if you want and oh i can join the discord if not we'll see each other in the next video it's so cold i don't know what to say <laughs> right now i need to get in and warm myself so howdy bro who's the crown the hand on me he says talk talk okay talk 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 nah i need to i definitely need to work on my swedish man i've been i was slacking for a minute because i had a lot going on so but it was actually fun i feel like i was learning stuff like i said i still remember talk 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 you know and all those things like that uh i i said this in the last video i had a list i don't know what happened to my list of words it was like the you know basic phrases and words and stuff like that that i had around my desk somewhere but no i enjoyed this i appreciate you guys for sending me this i think I done a lot. I think I've done a good amount of his videos. I think I need to I think I now need to go ahead and do some of his courses, check out his website and stuff. Uh especially while I got the time today. That would be fun. That'll be interesting. See what he got. I don't know about doing no work though, you know what I'm saying? But I don't mind learning, looking, reviewing, and those different things. But guys, that's all I have for this video. 
Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Continue to send your boy some more recommendations. And y'all be blessed. Be the best to be you. I'm out.